There is a huge manhunt currently going on in Belgium after Tuesday's twin attacks. Police are looking for this man. In this photo, he is seen alongside two men believed to have carried out the suicide attacks on the international airport in Brussels. He is believed to have fled the scene after the explosives he was carrying did not detonate. Police have issued wanted notice for the suspect. A photo of three male suspects has been taken to Zaventem. Two of them are likely to have committed the suicide attacks. The third, dressed in a light jacket and wearing a hat, is still actively being sought after. According to local reports, a taxi driver has come forward after recognizing CCTV images of the three suspects as men he picked up from an apartment block and dropped off at the airport. The report say the police raided an apartment block in Sherbig where they discovered an explosive device filled with nails as well as an Islamic State flag and chemicals. Une photo. Various searches are underway in several locations in the country. Many witnesses are being heard. Meanwhile, Belgian media has named the two suicide bombers as the brothers Khalid and Brahim El Bakrawi. The RTBF broadcasters say the pair were known to police. The Islamic State has claimed responsibility for the attack. The bombings came days after Belgian officials warned of possible attacks following the arrest in Brussels of Salah Abdel Salam, the only known survivor of 10 Islamist attackers who killed 130 people in Paris in November. Belgian prosecutor, however, says it's too early to make links with Paris attacks. Belgium is observing three days of national mourning and has raised its terror alert to its highest level. Susan Mongeli, CCTV. Let's get Mona from Oli Barrett. He joins us live from Brussels. Oli, three people have been identified as possible suspects. What more can you tell us about investigations into the terror attacks? Well, we are getting word uh, just in the last few minutes from one Belgian newspaper, so unverified at this point, but there are reports circulating very fast now in Belgium that perhaps one of these suspects, the, the man that was the subject of the manhunt, Najim Lashraoui, he may have been arrested in Brussels. As I say, that is being reported by one Belgian newspaper, so uncorroborated as yet. It would be a very significant moment if that were the case, because as I say, he was the subject of a huge manhunt, and it's believed that the two brothers that have been identified uh, by Belgian media perhaps already blew themselves up in these attacks. So it would be certainly significant if the, uh, the suspect who had absconded had been apprehended by Belgian police. Now, Najim Lashraoui is uh, reported to have been linked quite significantly to Salah Abdeslam, arrested in Brussels towards the end of last week and suspected of being a ringleader behind the Paris attacks. It's even understood that perhaps uh, Lashraoui and Abdeslam travelled together to Syria at one point. So um, all of this is leading to the connections being made between the Brussels attacks and the Paris attacks. Uh, of course, once the attacks unfolded here on the streets of the Belgian capital, there were plenty of people speculating that, that it could have been linked to the arrest of Salah Abdeslam last week, that perhaps he was intended to have been involved in this plot. But as I say, in the last few moments, uh, one Belgian newspaper reporting that Najim Lashraoui has been arrested uh, in Belgium, but that has not been confirmed as yet. And what, what is the situation like in Brussels at the moment? It's quieter, it's more tense than normal. There's an, an air of anxiety uh, around the city. Many shops and restaurants and bars are closed when they would otherwise be open. But it's not a city in complete lockdown. Plenty of people have been going to work today. There are cafes that are still open. There are restaurants that are still doing business. Um, and out on the streets of Brussels overnight, there were people sitting outside uh, enjoying a drink with friends. Uh, there's a very visible police presence on the streets of Brussels. There are armed police almost everywhere you turn. At stations and metro stations, which some of which have been reopening so far uh, today, uh, there have been extra security checks in place, much more stringent than you would normally see or expect in the Belgian capital. So it, it's definitely a city that feels like it's still on alert. And, uh, and much of that is, of course, because after the attacks unfolded, um, uh, authorities here were pretty clear with the public that there was at least one suspect still on the run. So it would be, as I say, very significant indeed if that particular suspect had been apprehended. All right, Oli Barrett, live in Brussels. Thank you.